Okay guys, let's see if she's worth the $40 after this. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are unboxing the new special edition, limited edition, is it just for Target? Kia Hart. Um, I found her yesterday at Target in Spokane Valley. <laughs> Sorry, something just got in my eyeball. Anyway. 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 So she is $40. And I know that's considered controversial, but I have been wondering since the day this came out. These are $26 dolls with what I would consider full articulation, even though they don't have it in the ankle. Two separate outfits with shoes, everything like that. Decent quality. Um, series 2 seems to be going down in quality a little bit. Not like bad, it's just like little quality control issues, you know, um, like my Bella Parker's hand just completely snapping off, uh, weird paint marks, um, weird scratches and indents in their legs, stuff like that. But from the beginning, I've always wondered how the $26 price point is gonna be sustainable because just based off what I know about dolls, there's no way it is. Like it cannot be sustainable. The LOL OMG dolls, technically come with two outfits but one of them's lingerie they have i don't know slightly more reusable packaging and everything and i feel like the sales of those are even slowing down a little bit because i see them on shelves all the time but the 26 dollars price point to me just isn't sustainable like there's no way mga can keep this up and we see this with doll lines all the time. The first time they spit them out, it's really, really good, but it's hard to keep that up. So for $40, she's probably the exact same quality as a $26 doll. It's just they're gonna start either keeping them at this price point at the $40, or for $26, we're gonna start seeing a lot less in series three and four. And I don't, I don't run a doll company. I don't know how they're run, but to me, I don't see how they can continue to charge $26 with inflation and everything and keep that up. I'm pretty sure, if anything, they're probably taking money from some other line in their company to make sure that these dolls come out the way they come out. I don't know how profitable these dolls are. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. I'm not a business person. I don't work or run MGA, clearly, because I'm... We don't need to get into who runs MGA because, anyway. Anyway. I think $40 for like the quality and everything is gonna maybe make more sense, but I don't know what parents are gonna spend $40 on a doll either. And it's interesting because the packaging is not that much different for $40. Mine has like scuffed up shoes I can see already, which we'll give you a closer look at. Um, her nail polish doesn't match her fingernails and everything. I can see some loose threads already. So it's basically the exact same quality, I'm assuming, for an elevated price. Let's get you guys in for a closer look at her inside of the packaging, and then we will take her out. So as we can see, Kia Hart's packaging is slightly different, where it has rain or ribbon handles instead of that plastic handle that the other girls have has the same watch on YouTube sticker, all the same like typography and everything. So I guess we're paying $40 for like a rainbow high ribbon and a heart shaped shoe box instead of a square, I guess. I don't know. Special edition. So she does have fun braided texture in her hair. It's still like all the basically the same hair as anybody else. It's just they put a couple of braids on top. Uh, different earrings everything like that but yeah she's looking really cute inside the box uh there's that scuff on the shoe i was telling you about it's already there um her secondary outfit very unicorny and then the back of the box is a little different it has the drawing of her you know which i can't believe she's like in a fashion school and 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the outfit. I think it's incredibly unfashionable. I don't like anything about it except for the shoes. Kia is the matchmaker at Rainbow High who always tells it like it is. Whether she's matching the perfect fashion pieces together, which no, or finding a special someone for her one of her friends okay so her talent is matchmaking but yeah i'm hoping when i take her out of the box i'll like this outfit more because honestly i hate it but yeah why don't we get her unboxed and give you a closer look at her details Here is Kia Hart up close. She does have the super shiny highlighter face. Um, she does have like a more brownish eye, which I really appreciate because up until now we've only been getting like blues and purples. So it's really nice to see like a more brownie eye. I love that. Um, she has little clips in her hair. One says XOXO. The other one says love. She does have a shit ton of that product in her hair. It is like the crunchy stuff. So they brought that back for her curls. Um, she has little weird like gold bamboo looking earrings that hang off of a giant pink stud that say rainbow on them. Um, she has a cute little beauty mark. Um, one thing I noticed when I was unpackaging her was she does have crazy bald spots. So just something, you know, to consider. And then the back of her outfit is as such. And then it says XO on her ass. I do like her rainbow high heels. That's like the only thing I do like. They don't super duper fit on because they don't have straps. But a lot of people have been having problems with their strap shoes snapping. And I'm okay with them not hanging on perfectly, like just like a Barbie doll. And then her hoodie says, I love you, but I've chosen fashion. Her little drawstrings are held together with like little pieces of plastic. So I guess you can like maneuver them however you want or just unsnap them and they can run around freely. She has some weird checkerboard undershirt that's long sleeved. And then there is some color on the checkerboards that looks like it'd be rainbow colors. Then her manicure is pink. And then as you can see, like on some of her fingers, she, it, it's like halfway off her fingernails and going down her fingers. So it's not like screened on very well. And her hair is a bunch of just fun rainbow colors. It's mostly pink hair, green, blues, reds, pinks are in there, yellows, purples, stuff like that. So she is a rainbow hair girl. She does come with a little belt with a heart-shaped buckle, kind of like silvery iridescent jeans that have crap all over them, that like XO and Love You Mean It XO and a bunch of hearts painted on, and then a little like heart keychain hanging off one of her pockets. And let me know if this outfit is in reference to like some high fashion thing because good God, I hate it. <laughs> I think it's so ugly. I don't know why, but definitely like educate me. Let me know if this is like a high fashion situation because I would love to know. But why don't we put her in her second outfit and see how that looks. Okay guys, um, and before I put her in her second outfit, I wanted to just show you her articulation. So she is able to twist her head from side to side, not up and down. She is articulated in the shoulders, elbows, and the wrist, and her hands can pop off for easy dressability. She can kind of pivot at the thigh where it goes like around, out, and in. And then you can pivot her upper thigh too to kind of change the direction her legs are pointing. She is articulated in the knees and not in the ankles. And um, I wanted to show you guys that her checkerboard shirt underneath on its own, I think is kind of cute. And it is a separate piece from the rest of the outfit. And then on her panties, it's just like any of the other girls where she just has like some painting issues and scratch offs and stuff. Nothing major, but it's there. Ooh, I definitely just want to like 
brush this hair out. Um, yeah, but let's get her into her second outfit. Okay, I also wanted to show you guys this. She does have like the weird notching in the knee, like all of the series two dolls have been having. And then just a lot of like extra pieces of plastic hanging off of her and stuff like that. Just weird like notches and everything. Just, you know, stuff to consider. I just want to show you guys everything. Here is Kia Hart in her secondary outfit. It's very rainbowy, unicorny stuff like that. You can see all those little plastic tabbies I had to take just to get her dressed. Um, I did get her socks and shoes on without anything snapping. Those are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. They're literally like fuzzy straps and heart heels. And ugh, the socks are cute though. I don't hate the socks. Um, like I said, one of mine is really messed up. You guys can see the notches on her knees like that hole right there, that's just really bad, that giant scratch and everything, which is totally exposed when she's wearing this outfit. Um, she has cute little denim jorts with rhinestones on them and the pockets poking out. I think that's really cute. And then like a, a little kind of plaid or flannel shirt that she has wrapped around. I definitely like the secondary outfit a lot more. And then she has like a denim patchwork jacket that just has all sorts of stuff like hearts, checkerboards, more hearts, rainbows, sparkle, R's, stuff like that. And then it says heartbreaker, which is funny because she's supposed to be a matchmaker. And yeah, that is Kia Hart's second outfit up close. Everything is held together with Velcro. It is separate pieces. This under piece hoodie, it's actually a full sleeve hoodie, like full length. Um, I have it bunched up so I could put on the denim jacket easier. And yeah, I think here, let's see what happens if we like brush out her hair real quick. Okay, so I brushed out her hair a little bit more and it just made everything like fluffier and curlier. It hid the bald spots a little bit better. So that was nice. But yeah, she's definitely got the bald spots. Um, yeah, so... For $40, she's the exact same as any of the other Series 2 dolls. She has some construction and quality control issues, weird notches, stuff like that. Like, I don't mind her, but <laughs> she is what she is. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about her down below. Let me know how your Kia heart ended up. Do you like her first outfit? Um, all of her little accessories, stuff like that. Just let me know, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!